So Derek talked about this challenge of multiple sensors coming together. This, this trend of sensor fusion is becoming more and more common in the automotive industry because multiple sensors give you a better view of the environment around the vehicle. Let me give you an example. Radar is very good at determining where objects are. And a camera is very good at determining what they are. So you bring these two pieces together and fuse them and hand them off to the controller. Then the controller can make a better decision of what to do next. So to understand some of the challenges around sensor fusion and what we're doing to address them, I'd like to welcome two of our partners to the stage, Michael Conrad from Conrad Technologies and Frank Heidelman from SET. Hi, Michael. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Frank, it's great to see you. All right, Frank, can you explain to the audience some of the challenges around testing a sensor fusion system? Yeah, I mean, a critical element, as we heard from Derek, uh, in testing sensor fusion is synchronization. Ensuring that the radar sensor and the camera are seeing the same thing at the same time. And this is where the NI platform comes in. We have RF acquisition and generation to support um, radar sensor simulation, as well as other sensors like leader, camera, or communication, all synchronized with each other. But the breadth of the NI platform needs to be combined with the vertical domain expertise to develop these perfect tailored solutions and to solve these pretty critical challenges. And this is where the partners come in. Yeah, partners like your company, SCT, and Michael's co company, Conrad Technology. So you two have been working together with two other partners, mm -hmm. SEA and MEGEX, and you formed an organization called ADAS IIT. Can you talk, talk about that effort? Yeah, this collaboration is named ADAS Innovation and Test, or ADAS IT for short. The demand for ADAS test capabilities leading to fully autonomous driving cars requires comprehensive test systems that can combine the inputs of all car sensors. So our mission is to combine our knowledge and skills to design scalable and future-proof ADAS test solutions based on the National Instruments platforms. Yeah, and you guys brought some of the technology you've been working on right here. Frank, can you explain the system? Yeah, of course. I mean, basically, um, active safety systems require millions of miles of test drive to meet their safety requirements. But gathering data and acquiring road data is extremely expensive, and there's no guarantee that we will encounter any scene and scenario while we do test driving on the road. And by the way, it's not a good, there's no good way to inject errors into a safety critical system while you're driving it on the road. So we believe that we need to move these critical systems from the road to the lab table. So today, we show you a virtual test drive application which performs sensor fusion testing using IPG CarMaker and Veristand running on an NI hill. So basically, we drive on a virtual road, we capture it by the camera, and in parallel and synchronously, we generate radar reflections so that the radar sensor sees exactly the same thing that the camera sees on the screen. But on top of that, we generate leader targets and um, car to x communication. So how cool is that? OK, wait. Frank, there's a lot going on here. Let me make sure I'm keeping up with you. So OK, so we have the, the software from IPG, IPG CarMaker. And that creates a virtual world and puts virtual objects on the road. And then that software passes information from Veristan, our software, that tells our RF generators to generate real radar signals. Mm -hmm. Then the radar sensor sees those radar signals, passes that information to the controller, so the controller thinks it's in the car, seeing real objects on the road. Right, we got to see a demo, Michael. Yeah, Jamie, let's take a virtual test drive. So our car uses radar, LiDAR, cameras, and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication to sense objects in the uh, environment. Our hill system generates this real-world signals just as if you were in a car driving down a real road, and then the control system takes the inputs of all these car sensors to drive the car fully autonomously. As you can see, our radar, camera, and LiDAR are all detecting the semi-truck, so the car slows down, stay around it to pass it. Further up the road, the car gets a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication message telling it an ambulance will be coming. These, these sensors working together give the car a complete view of its, uh, its surroundings. Our hill system generates a complete virtual world needed to, to test the control system and to make sure that the car operates safely. 
That's incredible. So you see all of these sensors coming in as well as the communication. That's really impressive. Like you can put the controller through a wide range of scenarios to get great test coverage, mm -hmm. but this system can also do some testing of the sensors themselves. Yeah, the same test system can be used also to characterize the radar sensor to ensure it responds probably to objects in front of it. So in addition to testing the embedded software that goes into the vehicle, we also can test to make sure that the physical hardware meets the design requirements. Well, this is great work, guys. Really making sure these safety systems are Thank truly you. safe. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much. <laughs>